Hey, Sal. Huh? We should go to Kingston. Really? Ready? During quarantine? No, not that Kingston. This Kingston! After our last video about Kingston and all the love it got, we thought we would give the location a proper visit. We started our weekend by driving up to Kingston, New York, which is about an hour and a half from our home. By the time we got there, it was dinner time, so we stopped by the infamous Inks. It's been around since the Great Depression, and it used to be the only Chinese food restaurant in upstate New York. People used to come all the way from Albany to get this stuff, and man was it delicious. Then we checked into our Airbnb. After check-in, there really wasn't much to do besides relax and make ourselves at home. Ah, that moment on your phone before bed. Good morning. Time to eat. We hungry. <laughs> After we ate, it was time to do a little work. We were on a podcast with the thought cards Danielle Desir. You'll never guess what we discussed. Traveling part-time with a full-time job. I know! Who would have thunk it? So we just finished and now we're going to carry on about our day. Yes. Uh, we had a great time. It was good to interact, um, answer some questions. I had I had one point that I totally wanted to say and I couldn't figure out how to get it in, but I was gonna say the best part about working full-time and traveling part-time is you get corporate discounts at hotels Ooh, and things like yes. that. I really wish I could have put that in, but maybe we'll figure out a way like, oh, the benefits of part-time travel uh, for future Selena, remember that, and we'll write it down. And then I did the thing that I always do when I geek out and I started talking fast when we started talking about finances, but it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we're gonna carry on. Yep. So this boat ride was a little unique. We got to be on one of the first solar paneled boats in the world. It's got a bunch of batteries below and solar panels on top. It's actually owned by the museum and even works when it's cloudy out. On the tour, we got to see some lighthouses. This one was built in 1915 and it's been operational since then as well. Oh look, it's a boat that was supposed to be a restaurant. Guess that didn't work out. So the pro to this trip was that we got to see the sunset. The con to this trip is we didn't get to go inside the lighthouse. All in all, it was still a great trip. So we just got some drinks for our B&B for the rest of the evening. We just stopped inside the liquor store and picked up some wine. But in New York, beer and uh, it's not sold in the liquor store like it is back in New Jersey. So we had to go to a random brewery and I got some crazy German sounding beer that sounds like it's going to be really good. So we're going to go back and we're going to go enjoy it. Since Selena thought we were going to a different Kingston, I figured it was only right I treated her some authentic Jamaican food. Mm -mm. You know you want it. So, we decided to get brownie sundaes. Yes, look at that. There's more. 
Like, it didn't stop at the Jamaican food. We had to get more. We had to get more. So good. So good. <laughs> this is the part of the night where we kick you out. Good night. Oh, you're still here? Guess you're paying for breakfast. Let's go. all relaxing weekends, it was time to pack it on up and head on home. So that's about it for us. We're about to head out. Hopefully you enjoyed this trip along with us. And if you've never been to Kingston, it's a great place to take a break from it all. Um, special shout out to all the suggestions online of things to do, places to see, to eat and experience. And if you're in the New York City area, don't be afraid. Come on up. It's great here. Jump on in. The water's fine. Yeah, we can totally see why a lot of people are escaping to up to the Catskill area and just areas like this. Kingston is small and quaint. Well, I guess not that small, but it's a nice quaint town. Yeah. It has like a lot of colonial feels. It was the first capital of New York State. Don't be afraid to go beyond the city to so places like Milford, Pauling, and, and Woodstock. Woodstock, especially if you're coming from the New York City area. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and tell us where you like to escape to where you live. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.